We're writing an encyclopedia, and the only things that we're interested in is publicly available information. And that means that the battles that we're facing have to do with that end of the spectrum. Um, privacy is about personal information that's private. For us at Wikipedia, uh, it's an incredibly important value. So, for example, if someone posts a home address or um, you know private information, we immediately delete it. Thinking about how widely accessible something is is, of course, a valid concern. The, the European Court of Justice decision um, has pushed us to a point where those kinds of decisions, it is mandated that uh, private search companies make those kinds of decisions with no judicial oversight, uh, with no transparency, no possibility of appeal by the publisher. If we want to say, yeah, actually we want to push Google to take certain things down, we need to really have some kind of public oversight. Um, right now, in the current situation, uh, Google is under pressure to not even tell publishers um, what they're doing. I mean, that's just wrong to, to say you can no longer link to a newspaper, but you can't tell them that you're not doing it. This is what we're really um, all about, is saying, look, we need some transparency in this process. We need judicial oversight. This is tempering with the right of freedom of expression. If we find there are edges that need to be dealt with, we have to be really careful, and we don't do it with a really blunt instrument. Given Wiki Wikimedia's quite sort of fierce statement against the ruling. Yes. It sounds like you do agree with a lot of the sentiments. You're just not in agreement yeah. with yeah. the approach. Yeah. Well, I mean, one of the reporters said, "Oh, is this is this an effort to name and shame people who are requesting it?" No, no. I mean, not at all. We don't want to name or shame anybody. We do this reluctantly because we think that the public policy point here is incredibly important. That access to newspaper articles, that access to public records, um, is a critical um, democratic right. And that if we're going to start tampering with that, we need a lot more serious approach than this. You mentioned um, publishing these these things, and I know the, the uh, on the Wikimedia website, on the Transparency Report website, and on other areas of the website, there are uh, clearly labelled every single uh, of the over 50 Google search links that have been removed. You've, yeah. you've yeah. detailed them. Do you support? newspapers then coming along and highlighting specific cases in their articles in a, in a way that does seem a bit more like naming and shaming? Well, if they're naming and shaming, uh, then no. I mean, I, I think that's just not, a, it's just not helpful. But I do think newspapers should take a very hard look at what is being done, and we should have a public dialogue about specific cases to say, wow, is this something that we really think we, will, we want to mandate that Google censor? given the incentives that Google faces uh, as a for-profit business, or is this the kind of thing that we should really be approaching in a different way? Do you think that this debate is on a level playing field, given that the media and the data controllers have a clear vested interest in this? It seems to be everyone against the ECJ. Is, is that fair? Um, yeah. <laughs> this is what... This is what um, public scrutiny of the government feels like, and it's always the case. Um, yeah. Jimmy Wales, thank you very much. All right, super.